This is my mom. She is smart, genuine, unexplainably personable, and one of the most kind and loving people I've ever met in my life. In this video, I want to show you the family that my mom has built and try to explain what it is about her that makes my mom not only the best mother in the world, but someone I would consider to be one of the best people in the world. My mom met my dad, I assume sometime in the 1900s, and when they got married, they tried for years to have children, but were unsuccessful. So they packed their bags and moved to Honduras to be missionaries, where they met a family of two children and an ill mother. My mom immediately fell in love with the two kids, my future brother and sister, Claudia and Misa. Before she passed away, she asked my mom and dad to adopt her two children. And though she was very sad to see her friend pass, my mom's prayers were answered. And she was finally going to be a mom. Plot twist, they'd soon be answered again, because around the same time, my mom found out she was pregnant with my older brother, Chase. And in a weird way, my mom was now expecting triplets. Side note, for a moment, she thought there was going to be a fourth child, because there was another baby in Honduras that needed a home. But long story short, my mom's sister adopted him, shout out Cousin Will. So now she was the proud mother of three beautiful children, even though Claudia and Misa wouldn't move to the States for a little bit. Two years later, on what I assume was the best day of my mom's life, she had her fourth child. On May 11th, 1994, famous artist Cole Brazel was born. And yes, I did have a happy birthday. Thanks for noticing. I mentioned earlier that my brother and sister didn't move to the States right away, but eventually all six of us were together. And not too many people get to say that they remember the day they met their big brother and sister, but I can, and it was the best day of my life. Misa met his wife Jen in college. They fell in love and got married a couple years later. I got to wear a tux, and I looked bomb. Jen already had two kids of her own, and in mom-like fashion, Misa adopted them on the wedding day. My mom was a grandma. Chloe is an amazing storyteller and movie maker, and you should totally subscribe to her YouTube channel, because darn it, Chloe, you are getting good. I'll link the channel in the basement. Allie is an all-star athlete, slash all-star everything. Chloe, Allie, I can't believe how amazing you guys have turned out, and I really hope you know that I admire both of you. A couple years later, Claudia married Kurt, and once again, I looked great at the wedding. Just kidding, we all did. The two kids my mom had opened up her heart and her home to 25 years earlier were now off to start their own families. Oh boy, and that they did. First, Misa and Jen had Amelia, and for the first time my mom got to be there for the birth of one of her grandbabies. Amelia is still warming up to me, but she's an artist too, and we're emailing about a potential collab. The next year, Claudia and Kurt had my main man, Axel. We're pretty tight, but sometimes I think he's a little bit above my sense of humor. I'm sure I'll wise up to you someday, Axel. Most recently, Jen and Misa had their second child, Ian, who can walk now, which is crazy. All three little babies adore my mother, which isn't saying much because pretty much the whole dang planet does. So this is the family that my mom has built, with kindness, with love, and by being welcoming. We come from all over the world, but we all have one thing in common. We not only love our grandma, Lita, mother-in-law, wife, and mom, but because of your influence, mom, and the example you had on us, we now know how to love everyone a little bit better. Happy Mother's Day, mom. You are appreciated.